everybody, it's Brian at Summit Racing, and today we're gonna to be bleeding brakes. We're gonna go ahead and do it on our Tesla project car, but the same really goes for everything that we do. We are gonna be using a power brake bleeder made by Motive. We're gonna be using Summit 608 degree racing dot four brake fluid. And it's really simple, just basically going for all four corners, get rid of all the nasty old stuff that's you know absorbed a lot of water, it's been boiled, etc. So we want some fresh new brake fluid in there. This is something we do every two years on the money. So what did we do to basically get us to this situation? We were at the autocross, we did three back-to-back -back runs and the pedal went not just soft, but real soft. It took about an hour to recover. Uh, so once it gets to that point, you gotta completely go through and you know, flesh out all the old stuff and replace it with new high performance stuff. And with that, if you wanna see some more cool content like this, be sure to like, subscribe, ring the bell, and on to the next project. All right, when I said it was easy, it's really easy. In fact, we've got the frunk pulled out of the front of our Tesla 3 in case you've never seen what's in the front of them. Radiator, motor, 12 volt battery, water pump, some cool stuff in there. But the reason why we're here today is because of that. Very, very simple. It's very, very conventional. Basically a hydraulic brake system like any other. Pop the lid off, take the proper adapter, this little guy here, and we're just gonna thread that down like so. I went and put uh, basically three pints of brake fluid in this thing. This bottle is really nice. It's actually pretty heavy duty. It's got a gauge on the front of it. And it, you know, it doesn't even have a tube sticking down there. It's actually molded in that all the way very at the bottom is where it does the pickup. So all we gotta do now, it's just got a typical uh, connection here like you would have for any kind of an air hose system. And we're gonna go ahead and pop this handle loose like that and pump that up to 15 PSI and ready to do business. Now we just head back to the back of the car, start breaking bleeders loose. We're gonna go ahead and cycle out all the old fluid. All right, folks, so we went and did the, uh, basically the driver's side rear first. Now we're gonna move over to the passenger side rear. I'm just gonna go ahead and crack this. And what we're gonna see is fluid run down into the bottle, probably kind of gross at first, and then kind of clear up as we get some fresh fluid in there. All right, here we go. All right, as you can see, we're starting to get some fluid down in there. Probably some air bubbles as well. All right, folks, we have about half of a pint of fluid in there now. That's the old stuff. You can definitely see that the stuff coming out now is nice and clear. I'm gonna go ahead and cap it off. It's just that easy. I'm just gonna go up and, and what's great about this power bleeder is just look how easy it is. No mess. That's not the way that this normally works but it's the way when you get the motive power bleeder. So on with that, we're gonna move up to the passenger front and on our way. All right, now we're up to the front passenger side corner. Pretty cool looking brakes, not super effective, not bad. All right, so we've done a couple brakes. In fact, we've done three and our pressure's dropped from about 15 PSI to about three or four, so. Go ahead and pump that up to 15 PSI, speed the process. And there we are, back up to 15. So we'll go ahead and finish off our passenger front and come over to the driver's front. All right, folks, in the front here, we're just finishing up. We're doing the inside of the front four piston caliper. In the back, it's just a single piston, so no big deal there. But something to be aware of when you're doing the job is make sure you're looking for both sides of any of the bigger calipers, like a four piston or a six six piston, and then we're gonna be on our way over to the driver's side to get things finished up and, you know, final cleaning, get the wheels and tires back on. See how quick I can move here. There we go. There she goes. Not so clean, but effective. All right, so our job is done. Brand new, fresh fluid everywhere. I'm just gonna go ahead and disconnect the motive power bleeder. Again, just this uh, three tab GM, turns out it's Tesla as well. No fuss, no muss. Take this thing away, check our uh, level on the reservoir there and put things back together and go road test it. Everybody, we hope that you enjoyed our brake bleeding 101 with the Motive Power Bleeder. It was a quick and easy job, 30 minutes with a tool that you're just gonna love using. And uh, we just did a great job. You, know, you could see the air going out of the fluid you know, the entire time. So we definitely know that when we go back to the track, no more problems. On top of that, we have Summit 608 degree uh, boiling point fluid in there, so no issues there. And with that, if you wanna see some pretty cool content like this in the future, be sure to like, subscribe, ring the bell, and see you later.